I just need to cool off because I'm wearing a sweater in the summer. Hello, what's up? You can't answer that because you're a camera or you're watching this and we can't communicate. This is my second video I filmed in the span of two days and I'm kind of proud because usually I just don't film videos even though I've always wanted to because I love YouTube. This could be your first video so welcome. I know you're not coming back because no one's watching my shit except for myself. So yeah, welcome. Consider subscribing. I like books. I like nerdy shit. I can talk about all of it. Any video requests, I'll definitely take into consideration. But today, I was thinking that I was gonna do, like, books I've read in this year slash 2019 slash 2020. Because I've read a good amount, so be proud of me. I used to be a dy dyslexic child who wouldn't read because I hated to read. I remember me and my friends came up with a song about being famous and one of the lines was, I don't like to read, it's not my thing. And I came up with that. That lyric. But now, look at me. This is my new setup because last video I thought I looked really ugly because I had really bad lighting. I was sitting on this couch and this is better lighting so I don't look as ugly. I still look a little bit ugly but like not as ugly. So it's an improvement. So that's why this background has changed. I know the background isn't the best, but what can you do when the only good lighting you have in your home is in your basement? Anyway, onto the video. So I've read a lot this year. I read about, like half of the books were audiobooks, and then the other half I just read. I don't have all the books with me because some of them were audiobooks, but I will put up a little picture by myself of the book I'm talking about so you can know the cover. Hell yeah. Okay, let's start. So, the first book I read in a year and a half, that's probably about right, a year and a half, is Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sines. And um, this is my favorite book I've ever read. I recommend anyone to read it because it is absolutely beautiful and stunning and gorgeous and everything I love in a story. <laughs> So it's about these two boys named Aristotle and Dante, you know, because it says Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets um, of the universe. I always thought it was two, but it's not. I'm a fake fan. It's of. So it's about these two boys, and they. it's about their lives in, I think it's El Paso, Texas? It's kind of just about their lives and their friendship and their families and... It's so good, and it deals with sexuality as a theme, and just, it's great. I gave, I, I gave it a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads. I don't think I'll ever like a book more than I like this book. It just hit me in a very soft spot. So, yeah. You should pick it up. Okay. The next books I read is two in a series, but the series isn't finished. But there are still the two in the series that I read. And they are Children of Blood and Bone and Children of Virtue and Vengeance. Yeah, I read these. Uh, this one was a 5 out of 5. And this one was like a 4... No, no. A 3.7 out of 5. It definitely didn't live up to this book, which is a fantastic book. Um, and this one was good. Great series. Highly recommend. It's about this girl named Saley who is trying to get magic back to her people because the ma her magic... Uh, her people's magic was taken away, and now they are very oppressed by their society, and so she's trying to bring magic back to her people. And it's amazing. It's really good. Highly recommend. You should read it. Hell yeah. Okay, so the next book I read is Check, Please by Nagozi Yukazu. And there were aspects I liked. Like, I thought there were cute character moments, and I really liked how he was kind of like a YouTuber. Like, he, like, every, uh, like, chapter started out with him talking to the camera about stuff. I thought that was really cute detail. But overall, I just found it a little bit boring. You know, we all have our tastes. Don't roast me if this is your favorite book. I'm sorry. You know, it just didn't work for me. But I can see why people like it. So the next book series I read, this year and a half, is... 
the To All of the Boys I Love Before Trilogy by Jenny Han. And I love this book. These books. I thought they were so cute. I really liked all the characters and I felt like you really kind of grew with Lara Jean and you got to know her family and her boyfriend and I just thought it was so cute. I would give the books on their own f probably four 4.1 stars, but as a whole trilogy, I gave it a five star. I remember when I finished, I was like, aw, I miss them. Like, I miss my little book fam. I'll tell you what it's about. Basically, it's about this girl named Lara Jean who is in love with her sister's boyfriend, and she writes letters to the boy she loved, like, loves, or loved. She writes letters to the boy she loved and puts them in a hat box so she can forget about them. So she writes this love letter, and then she can forget about them. And then, all of a sudden, her letters get sent to the boy she wrote to, and it's like, aw oh, shit, like, now they all know I was in love with them, and drama ensues. It's really good. It's really cute. <laughs> so you should read it. I recommend. It gets my stamp of approval. Okay, so the next book I read in this year and a half. I don't know why I was acting so grumpy in this little part. Is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. And, um, I think it's a pretty average book. I probably would give it like a 3.5. I just don't really, I just kind of felt like not that much happened. It had a cool premise and there were scenes I really liked. But overall, I just didn't really find it that enjoyable. Like, it was cute, it was well written, but just not exactly for me. And you know what? That's fine. Not everything is for everyone. I know a lot of people love this book. And you know what? Power to ya. It's about these two boys named Rufus and Mateo. And there's this thing called the Death Cast, where it's like, a, it's like an alert. So your phone rings, and they're like, beep, beep, beep. Hello, you're gonna die today. And then you're like, I'm gonna die. And then, you know, that's the thing. They give you like a day so you can live your last day of life how you would want to live your last day of life. They meet on this app called Last Friend and it's for people who are going to die who want to die, who do not want to die alone. And they meet and stuff happens and it's, you know, things happen and they have a good time and there's a little bit of a um um and a hum hum, and yeah. I don't have any of the other books, but I do have a phone, and I wrote down the books because I forget. Okay, so the first series, I'm almost done with the series, but I only read two of the books, and I'm two hours and 19 minutes away from the finale. And those books are the Clockwork Angel books. I don't know where I'm gonna put them, but I will be putting them on the screen. I really liked them. I love Cassandra Clare. I think she's a great author and her books are very fun. I would probably give the series as a whole a four star. Yeah, they were really, really good. I really liked them. So basically, they're about the Shadow Hunter Society, who are like people who fight demons, but it takes place in old London and there are like steampunk elements, like automatons, which are robots work made up clockwork oh and there's also a big love triangle which you might be like love triangle well hold your horses it ain't a bad one here's the triangle and tessa's at the top and then we have will here and then we have jem here and they both are in love with tessa but will and jem are pair of tie so they also love each other but not in that kind of way more in like a brotherly way and so it's complicated. Also, it had my favorite beginning to any book I ever read. I thought it was so cool. I'll just say the part with the Dark Sisters and Tessa. I thought that was so cool and so entertaining and very weird. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. So yeah, that's the Clockwork series. Okay, so coming off of that, I'll just talk about the other Cassandra Clare series I read, but I only read the first three, and that is A City of Bones, the mortal instruments and I loved the mortal instruments it's like angsty and kind of silly 
but in like the best way possible and the characters are all sassy and like there's like vampires and there's like demons it just feels very like 2012 but in like the best way possible i loved it five out of five i loved the entire series i thought it was so good if anyone's wondering simon is my favorite character it's about shadow hunters in a shadow hunter society and they fight demons and there's way more to it it's kind of hard to explain so i'll leave it at that if you like people who hunt demons and there's a lot of angst and drama you'll like this the next book I read this year was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I love that book. It's probably... Oh, my eye. Something in my eye. It's probably one of my favorite books ever. It's just great. Very enchanting. It's about this old Hollywood actress and this reporter named Monique and she goes to interview Evelyn. Uh, Evelyn specifically requests her and she goes and she interviews her and it kind of goes back into Evelyn's history and how she became this Marilyn Monroe type famous actress so much goes into that story it's so good I completely recommend it it deals with stuff like race and sexuality and just fame and stuff it's just so good so I highly recommend that one five out of five that's what I gave it and yeah I think that's it for this video I had a fun time filming it great old time uh bye guys like and subscribe please and comment if you feel the need if not cool bye